nope, nope, I'm done. Oh. I think I hit a bone. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. You know, Jake, that right there is a problem I have with Hollywood. For years, they keep perpetuating this false narrative on what weapons can actually do to humans. Now, nobody knows what a Morningstar, aka medieval mace, can actually do when it hits somebody. It's ridiculous. Well, what do you think it would do? Well, I don't know, Jake, but I'll tell you this much. It's why I'm here today. Because I got my very own authentic Morningstar, AKA Gothic Mace. And I think it's high time we get rid of these fake Hollywood narratives and show everyone what a authentic Morningstar can really do to a human. Mm. But that's not all, Jake. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I never just watch a movie, man. What the Come on. Is... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. No, not that. This one. Oh. Listen, <laughs> if this video gets 40,000 likes, I'll get hit with this here Warhammer in a future episode. <laughs> I think we should do 50,000. <sighs> you drive a tough bargain. Listen, the best I can do is 42,000.33 repeating, of course, likes. That's oddly specific, but. I will take that. It's a deal. Oh, all right. A deal's a deal, okay? I'm looking at you two viewers. Uh, we shook on it. Let's go. <laughs> I would have done it for 20,000. I mean, I would have done. Um, I don't like when you look at me like that. <laughs> we have a deal, Jake. <laughs> That's right. We shook on it! In previous Bro Labs episodes, we learned all there is to know about what happens when a flail and a spiked flail hits a human. But in today's episode, we are gonna do a deep dive into what happens when a human gets hit with a morning star. The distinct difference is the morning star doesn't have a chain on it. So theoretically, it should be a lot more dangerous and painful to get hit with one of these bad boys. But before we hit me with this morning star, we of course gotta hit something that isn't Houston Jones, the world's greatest scientist, which is why I got some watermelons. We're gonna smash them. It should give everyone a good idea just uh, what the Morning Star is capable of when it's not hitting humans. You ready, Mark? I am ready. Good to hear. Hey, why don't we hit this guy? Who is that guy? Who are you? My name's Austin, and I'm Houston's number one fan. Did you bring this guy in? I was just about to ask you that. Did you bring that guy in? Because... No. No, I didn't. So you brought this guy in? Yeah, he, he offered me some tacos. Right, okay. So we're gonna have a stern talking to Mark later. Ah, yeah, okay. Damn. Hey, nice to meet you, man. I'm Houston. So as you can see, we got the melon perfectly set up. And normally, I let Mark do the honors for these inanimate object tests, but today, I figured we need a little bit more power, a little bit more accuracy, so I'll be taking the swing on this melon. Is that okay, Mark? How are you not cold? Go, 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 they're coming. Ah. Gothic mace, AKA Morningstar versus watermelon. Here we go. Well, we learned one thing. The morning star is pretty damn good against non-living objects. Oh, he's got a watermelon. <laughs> Pussies. So up first on the human trials, we're gonna be using the good old brass head mace. A lot smaller than the other option we have here, but I think this bad boy can pack some power. So what we're gonna do is hit me in multiple areas, different power levels, and we're just gonna see what happens. After that, 
will go to this big old steel gothic mace. All right, ball, battle ready. It means it's meant to hit some sh I'm not saying I'm sh It just meant to hit. Sorry. Now, I'm not sh if, 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 if I was sh I would be. Let it out. I'd just fire out, out. I'd be like a really. Big. <laughs> no. <laughs> First strike with the brass head mace. Let's say 15% power onto my shoulder, Mark. 15% power. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. Much unlike the sponsor of this video, Groove Life. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what Groove Life is, they make the only breathable ring on the market, plus the only belt that you will never have to adjust. And both come with a 94 year no BS warranty. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down in the description below and get yourself your own Groove Life products today. So as you can see, the brass head mace did leave a slight abrasion. That was about 15% power? Yeah. Let's up it to 25% power onto the shoulder. 26.3 repeating. Hey, he's the director. <sighs> Ultimately, I'm the hitter. That was like 40. <laughs> 40, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm waiting for the apology. Uh, it's at 26 point repeating. repeating, and that's like, there's a big discrepancy there. I don't like odds, evens. Wait, both. Can you believe I cheated <laughs> off him in math? So look at this. Okay, at uh, whatever Mark's 40% is, we peeled some skin there. But before we move maces and stuff, this has got me enough confidence to take at least a 50% power hit. Oh. What was that? What? You need, there's one thing you never want to hear when you're doing an experiment. Oh, oh, oops, uh. It was like you hit me in the bone. Did you, like right there, right in the bone. I was trying to do a cool trick, okay. You know you can't do any cool tricks. 50% power. <laughs> it smarts, it, it leaves a lingering sense of regret. Uh, moving on to a different part of my body because, you know, what if your assailant who happens to have a morning star hits you somewhere that's not your shoulder? A lot of hypotheticals. A lot of hypotheticals. Uh, that's because I'm a scientist and I'm trying to cover all my bases. So we're gonna hit me in the upper back. And I say about 60% power mark. <laughs> Ah! Let me take a little key. Uh, how's it look? Can't even tell. Oh. Uh, so you you can tell? Well, I need to know. That I'm a scientist. Look at that one. Hold on. Wait, wait. Turn it the other way, Mark. No, other. Uh, too far. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Here looks good. You're right. This guy's gotta be at least 27 years old. Only someone that's 27 can grow a beard this good. I'm 26. Yeah, look what you can grow. 70% <laughs> power on the back. data points. You see all the data on the, the brass mace here? Delicious, no nutrition. Yeah, do you want to taste of this real quick? Let's take a little little lick of that right there. No! <laughs> um, there's way more iron than bronze. Brass, titanium, plat, plat, uranium. Okay. We're hitting the calf next, okay? Some people like to call it uh, the dark horse of the legs, you know. Don't baby calves. We're talking about my calves? Yeah, calves are big. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong! Anyway, 
base, we're hitting my calf, and I say we do about 80% power. 80% power? Oh, no, we're not doing that again. I don't know why I did that. Get the tape, Mark, get the tape. Fan, come over here. You can do work. Can you feel the, the draft coming through there, Mark? Put your hand in here. Guys. My stuff makes you itchy. <laughs> yeah, I can feel my draft. abs, because they hurt. It's You're just good. out of shape, and I, who are you again? My name is Shut up, tape the wall. He's not getting paid, right? He's taping the wrong side of the wall. Of course he's not getting paid. I think it deserves it. I could tell you something, I learned a lot from that calf hit. Mostly that uh, an 80% power hit from a brass head mace can make you leak uh, juices that are completely ad friendly. Please don't demonetize me, YouTube, I mean, come on. We're friends. <laughs> We've been friends for so, so long. So, so long. <laughs> friends make mistakes. We forgive them. I just want YouTube to love me. I'm gonna tell you I'm on something. They never will. <laughs> Now it's time to get to the hardest hits with the brass head mace. So we're gonna be hitting my quad. Right there in the front. Just, the people just wanna see you get hit, Houston. 100%. Oh. <sighs> uh. Okay, so there's some irrelevant data points from a prior video, but this is definitely what we accumulated. That 100%? Yeah, maybe 90. 90? 90. 90. Okay. Yeah. So one last one with that, then we'll move on. Oh! Ooh, that got skin. Dude. What do you think of the data, dude? <laughs> no! That's your real hair? I'm going bald, okay, man? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so 100% power hit right there, and as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five data points, a six potentially. Uh, pretty impressive from the brass head mace. But now, it is time for what you've all been waiting for. The gothic mace. Look at the construction. This thing is full steel, okay. I have a question. What? Well, now I'm afraid to ask it, so I retract my question. Good choice. Let's hit me. Make it quick, huh? Anyways, I uh, wanna do a 10% power hit to my right quad. We're doing the quad for this particular morning star because look at this thing, it's dangerous. And I got the most meat here, okay? So it's the safest place to get hit. Got a lot of blood too. So don't worry about that. Okay. Don't worry about that. Right here, 10% power. Is that 10% really? Because I felt like that was a five. Ah! Yeah, it smarts a little bit. You're not done yet. Who is this guy again? Mark brought him. Oh. Uh, uh. Hey, Mark. Hey, Austin. Nice hair. Nice glasses. They're not real. No, he doesn't either. <laughs> Jake, we gotta talk about the internal uh, organization of the company. I feel like things are getting out of hand a little bit here. We've got, got a lot of randos showing up. I think we should let Mark go. Yeah, dude. Right. Yeah. We had two hits, pretty weak power, uh, that's what happened. We're being careful, okay? We're being careful with this here gothic mace because I'll be perfectly honest, you could murder at least 10 infant deers with one swing. Those would be does. Does a female deer. Oh. So what I'm thinking, Mark, 20%. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me prep the test site. I'm sterilizing it. It's important. You always want to sterilize. 20% power, Mark. Does that mean you're sterile? I was born sterile, but also extremely fertile. Huh? Oh. Hmm. oh no, that is so much. Oh. 
I've been absorbing data, okay, this entire video. And that last hit confirmed the fact that this is indeed a dangerous weapon. Only 20% power. And I can tell you what, I felt that in my femur, okay? It like made contact with my bone. I'm scared, I'll be honest. Since I'm a scientist right now, I'm scared. But for the scientific process, we're gonna up it to at least 30, maybe 40% power. So I'm dedicated to my craft. God bless. This guy's nose. 30% power mark. Right to the quad. One more. 40% power. Nope, nope, I'm done at all. I think I hit a bone. <laughs> Oh, that's so... <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> no. No. Uh. Oh. 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 I think I, should, I think we should stop there. Uh, Houston, we about done with the video. I, I got some bad news, so... What? Mark promised the fan that he could hit you one time. <clears throat> Mark said that? Yeah, he did. I, I, it's, it's in the contract. Uh, hey, uh, what's his name? Austin. Austin! Come on in, man. Come. All right, we got, uh, obsessive, annoying fan Austin here. Uh, we're gonna let him take a swing at me. I don't trust him. <laughs> I actually trust Mark, but I see crazy in your eyes. <laughs> Did you see how hard Mark was swinging? I saw him, how hard he was. Do not do it harder than him. All right, Austin, I know you've been a viewer for a long time. Do you want to say any words to the audience before you hit me? Um, your, your dreams are what, what you make it. No, no, that, that's all right. That's okay. all right. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> you may go. All right, tell me when. Now. <clears throat> that was better than Mark. <laughs> <laughs> He's got good accuracy with that range. Blood on my hand. Sorry about nice that. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you can. There's a door there. And now, what I want you to do is kind of walk out of it. Just keep going this way. Where does this go? No, don't worry about it. Just go on out there. It's dark in here. Yeah, no, that's fine. Seriously, who found that guy? Paid me a hundred dollars. The truth comes out. God damn it, Mark. <laughs> Final results with the old Gothic Mace there, and I'm gonna be honest, pretty impressed. At tops, we got a 40% power hit, and I'm quite confident at 100% power, this thing could be breaking some bones. But here's what we're gonna do. We accumulated a lot of data, and in a couple days from now, we're gonna check in on that data and see how everything's looking. You pouring salt on my wounds? Gotta sterilize it. I feel sterile. You already like, were. Internally, yeah, okay. That's, that's all right. So it's been two days since I got hit with these here morning stars, and it's time to check in on the data that's been accumulated on my body. So we'll go in order of where I got hit first. Checking in on my shoulder, take a look at that. All right, that was the lightest hit I took from this little boy, and it still was capable of bruising me and cutting me in multiple places, so that's pretty impressive. Then the hit got even harder, and you can see the bruise got much larger. And then the hit got even harder again, and the bruise still got larger. And then something strange happened, and when we got to a full power hit with this here brass head mace, the bruise somehow got smaller, but Mark was capable of gashing huge holes into my leg with this, uh, which ended up being a pretty bloody experience. But now let's get on to the gothic mace, the big boy of this experiment. As you can see, it just looks scary and dangerous. And as you can see, despite not getting hit, that hard with it, it still did significant damage. Cut me in multiple spots. It hurts to squat down in this area because there's like this swollen ball in my leg. It can't be healthy, I don't think. But I can tell you one thing, it was worth it for the knowledge we gained. Right, Mark? Infinite knowledge. So much knowledge. Knowledge I will do nothing with. So ultimately, what did we learn from this here enlightening Morningstar experiment? Well, 
I think it's safe to say that unlike in Hollywood, when you get hit with this mace, you won't be flying 15 feet in the air, hitting the ground and dying. When you get hit with this in real life, you're just gonna die and not fly in the air. I think I would run away before getting hit. That would be pretty smart. But now they know. So they don't have to. Exactly. Man, I'm such a cool, nice scientist, aren't I? Best one around. Stop it. Nobel Prize winner. Candidate. Not winner yet. All right, keep going. Uh, no, that's all I got. Oh.